This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports Houston, the early release from prison of a South Texas woman convicted of killing a young family in an apartment fire more than a decade ago, has outraged a prosecutor and the victim's relatives. They say they're appalled that Sadie Profit, who was convicted of murder in 2002, was released after only serving nine of her 60-year prison sentence. Although Profit was not eligible for parole until 2031, the State Parole Board released her in May under medically recommended intensive supervision. Parole Board Chairwoman Rissy Owens told the Houston Chronicle that the 66-year-old is not expected to live more than a year. Profit set a fire in her apartment in 2000 to make her husband's natural death look accidental so she could claim $30,000 in insurance money. Four people died. A body believed to be that of a missing boater has been recovered on Lake Travis. County authorities say 23-year-old Dilip Kuraman Kanduraman of Belton, Texas, was found about 4.30 p.m. Sunday, according to KVUE.com. Kanduraman disappeared Thursday night after jumping into the water on the south shore of the lake near Paradise Cove. Authorities say the man may have lost his life jacket while in the water. This is the eighth drowning at Lake Travis this year. From KHOU.com, historic drought conditions are fueling the largest algae bloom in more than a decade along the Texas Gulf Coast, killing fish, sparking warnings about beach conditions, and making throats scratchy. Researchers said Monday, the extent of the so-called red tide bloom came as no surprise to biologists because the microscopic algae love warm, salty water. Since March, Texas has recorded seven of the ten driest months in 116 years, so scientists had anticipated a red tide earlier this summer. The Cameron County Health Department warned people with respiratory illnesses, including asthma, to avoid South Padre Island and Boca Chica Beach Sunday. Until further notice, the last red tide along the Texas coast was 2009. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.